Happy weekend. What is going on? I'm Zed Mott. Have been looking forward to this weekend in a big, big way. Lots going on here. We are late, so I am talking too quickly. We're going to get that trader crate, which is going to help us with some form of boom pass mission. And then we're just going to jump into warships. Now, my warship has been very, very stagnant. It has been stuck in the Arctic Triangle, whatever the heck it's called, because... I do not have shock launchers, so there's not really been a heck of a lot of point for me to push because uh, people just get way too quick at times against my base. So I will be starting out not with warships on this one. I'm going to start out with an operation attack because it's been too long and I see too many people screw up the open for Chimera. And yeah, last week I did... I think Chimera in a dumb way, or maybe it was Machina or Machina. I'm just trying to keep two operation attacks that people mispronounce. And I'm going to throw, it's just three boats of Zookas. It makes it so much easier. You just overlap your smokes and you just wait a little second or two. And then all of your troops get into the blind spot of the rocket launchers and Everything is magical. They hang out in there and clear all of the rocket launchers and you don't have to worry about extra smokes or your troops dying or it's just all magical. Then your flare expires and as soon as your flare expires you can get the rest of your boats dropped using that flag. If you do it before your flare expires you will have a very very bad bad time. And when using Zookas, one of the reasons I like this operation attack is because there's a bunch of different layers. First you get the early smokes, then the late smokes, and this is one of the few bases in all of Boom Beach where it actually makes sense to flare a power cell. And the reason why you do that is because it makes your troops spread out amongst the cells and they clear the cells quicker. Also, the cool thing about Chimera is if you have a, a task force leader or co-leader on and you kick the person before their attack finishes, all of these cells come back. A little known detail that if you kick someone in the middle of an operation attack, their operation attack is removed from the board. So if someone eats all of these cells and then comes to the core and absolutely screws things up, as long as their attack is not over, you just kick them and all of those cells come back. I don't know if that's a bug or a feature. I think it's both, maybe. Uh, it's very, very rarely done, and I haven't seen it done in probably years, so they might have even patched it, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, so do keep that in mind if your task force has some players that want to try an all Zuka attack, but maybe aren't quite there yet. Now for this one, very straightforward. One shock on the shock launcher. One, two, three, four. F I'm going to throw six shocks on the rocket launchers. We are unboosted, so we are probably wasting some gunboat energy about now, but that's all in the good fun because this task force is a warships oriented task force, which I got to say more and more task forces are becoming warships oriented and I really, really do hope that Supercell realizes that this is happening and does something like Warship versus Warship, or they simply allow the ability to share replays with your task force. A huge feature that is lacking from the social aspect of the game, which makes me sad, but uh, that is neither here nor there. We're going to throw our shock there and shock one, two, three, four, five, six, just because... And then all of the battle orders as Brick manages to somehow stay alive. But we are going to try to rectify that with an artillery. And I don't think that's even going to take her out because she is super duper buff. So we need to get a second artillery just to finish the job. So lots and lots and lots of GBE to be had. Chimera is a lot of fun and it will impress your task force mates, especially those ones that... Uh, decide they're going to load a bunch of Scorchers and then they just send all of their Scorchers into, whoa, what just happened? Um, into that group of boom cannons and then you just watch all their ex Scorchers explode at the same time. Which, by the way, is a confirmed bug. Scorchers are dying way too quickly on operations. Supercell has said they are aware and they are fixing it. 
there is no timeline. I was harassed on the YouTubes for not giving a timeline, like I was somehow holding it out. Um, just so you know, Code Zedmot in your shop means that I am fighting for you. Supercell does not pay me to shut up. Supercell does not pay me, period. That's why I can tell you there are bugs and say that the game is not perfect and talk down about the game. Uh, I harass Supercell. I chase them for you. The fact that, uh, for example, our hero ability, right? I don't have a hero, so I guess that kind of ruins that. Does not show up on warships. I am harassing them monthly, uh, harassing them about grapplers and things on Mega Crab. And we're going to jump in here because I've harassed you guys enough. Um, now, my Seeker hits are okay. And I know not everyone loves Seeker, so I'm not going to dwell on this too much. But there's a lot of fun in Seekers if you have instant training. You kind of need instant training. And if there is a hot pot, I am switching straight away to using heavy choppers. I don't use heavy choppers unless they have a hot pot, and if they do, the, the heavy choppers come out right away because I need to get rid of some shock launchers or I end up absolutely watching my troops get roasted by the hot pot. So, that is what we are going to do right about now. We're going to go one, two, three. We're going to send you onto the shock launcher. I'm going to go something like this, and we're going to send you over there and then you guys over here. I uh, shouldn't need a shock over there, but we're going to do it anyways. And then as soon as that shock launcher is gone, we are going to get moving. Need to keep moving. That thing is gone so we can keep our troops moving. Going to throw another... Oops, that's not actually thrown. Throw another one of those cryo bombs about there. Keeping that flare moving and now shock bombing everything, every where it's that straight at forward it's that simple and now that that's done we can just keep the shock on that hot pot that shock launcher is gone so we can get our heavies to do a little bit of goodness and then one more shock just so the shock launcher i mean the hot pot doesn't roast us and we got three minutes five seconds so when there's no hot pot just all seekers all the way through and when there is a hot pot you need to save a little bit of gbe and we have gone against aska one arabic name or maybe we're reading that backwards because i think arabic is right to left and we've won hooray huzzah good things happening two for two on the video so far liking that a lot bit and one thing i am not liking a lot bit is this account. This account continues to fall. It was in high 18. We are now just clinging to 17. And you see why right there. I am, I think, if my math was accurate, I am nine chests from getting that five Doom Cannon node and just absolutely suffering to get there. Like, it is awful. I'm going to go seven engine rooms. It's a bad idea. I don't recommend you do it because there's not a lot of goodness behind the seven engine room level. And there's been a bunch of players who have fallen hard. So if you're saving for seven, maybe consider spending. This account does not have heavy choppers. It does not have laser rangers. It does not have seekers. Uh, it does not have a hero. It does not have the troop health. It does not have the flare. It is just all defensive. We went through that bottom path. To get to six engine rooms which is awful if you're gonna go six highly highly recommend getting this stuff first you will have way more fun and no hero like i said we've got just it's just straight up tanks in your face and there is a relevant point here if you don't have instant training this is a good time to push because those tanks are 90 percent off and that 90 percent off does carry over to warships so I have two chests to claim. We'll do one battle. Uh, I am generally clearing most bases now that I have the shock bomb, but this tech tree is no, that's not a good base to go up against. Realistically, this is the sort of base that I should build. It's a terrible base at the higher ranks because Seekers will finish this base in like 321. Uh, you drop like one boat of Seekers on this side, it goes to there. Uh, you drop some other boats on this side and they just walk up that whole right hand side. Just terrible base. But that just goes to show that it really depends what level you're at. The fact that we're at rank 16 means that I don't 
probably have Seekers. There are very, very, very few players using Seekers at rank 16. So I am going to probably lose to this base. And they're going to think that their base is super duper well designed. And it's not. But maybe it kind of is. Uh, really weird thing about warships where the fact that uh, like this base will never get to rank 18 like you just will not get to rank 18 with a base that looks like this because a huge percentage of people are either using laser rangers or seekers or bombardiers and all of the above would just absolutely cruise through this base which i'm kind of doing but let's be honest here as soon as those heavies out front go away my attack is over i think although this is the first time i've attacked a base with shock bomb so maybe i actually have a bit of a chance i can really doubt it though as you can see by the fact that those tanks against those cannons just not a good match whatsoever uh the and that's where warships is so so good at its self-healing where bases like this just get obliterated and then they change and this person didn't change because they didn't need to because they're at low enough rank so if you were me would you succumb to the peer pressure and build a stupid base like this or would i'm just so lazy about building bases that uh, i think i'm just gonna keep going and i think i need to claim in gold against robert second gg robert second i trashed your base i gave you a hard time but you cleared my base quickly and this base right here is one of the hardest bases for seeker players to beat uh, they are getting like 239 at the very very fastest but willing to bet that robert did not use seekers let's have a look and see what they did yeah just bus rushing with everspark everspark is not the hero for anyone and robert is just walking through no big deal and handing us the l and for those of you players out there who do attack in Operation Attacks and you are doing something like Foxtrot or Milk Run or whatever the heck it is, uh, this is Duplexity. And I just wanted to show you the win-loss record of this task force. Just all wins all the time. And unless there are 12 attacks left, and look at the note here. Kill everything around the core. Give opportunities for other players to participate in the op. That is the state of duplexity. Like, this is just clearing all of the buildings, all of the power cells, and having a little bit of fun in the process. So, do we need an update to operations? Yeah, probably. I would think so. I would really like to see it revamped, but don't know when or if that's ever going to happen. And how do we do this best? I'm going to send in Everspark. Um, we are going to just clear something i'm gonna start with that shock launcher i think and i don't know how we're gonna to get to that shock launcher because those microwavers are gonna be a complete and utter pain um i think we're gonna go something like this with a smoke about there and then a smoke about there and then we are gonna flare right about now and we're gonna shock that microwaver standing in a terrible spot just to get rid of the shock launcher and hoping that our smoke expires before that shock and just silliness and it would be really really ironic if the task force did fail after leaving it like that but generally speaking in any kind of task force doing duplexity there are always players online so if you're in a task force doing a silly low level operation uh, consider jumping to somewhere else because there are so many task forces out there doing amazing amazing things and there is so much to learn and even if you only care about warships there's so much knowledge to be learned on the main base that does transfer over to warships as well so uh, we are just clearing cells and you'll notice that the health on that core is going down for every single building that goes down you guys already knew that though we are going to clear as many mines as we can because there's no sense saving the core if you're not going to clear all of the mines and we are just going to watch all of our troops get murdered but on the plus side we're 
helping the task force do it save the core on duplexity in the most ridiculous of fashions. I'm hoping, or I was hopeful that I was gonna get one more barrage, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. I was really hoping to clear all of those mines over there, but instead we're gonna drop one artillery there and one artillery there. If you're gonna do save the core, you gotta do the victory lap. These things are so, so important to be done properly. Now, to end the video, we've got ourselves some tribes here. The Warrior Damage Tribe is so much fun, and I just realized that I don't actually have a Warrior Troop loadout. But the new update did give us a new loadout, so I am going to build that right now. If you didn't know that new loadout was there, do go fill it up. Would love to hear how you guys name your troop loadouts. Uh, there's a lot of fun in... I, I get kicks over the tiniest of things so uh, like my warriors were always called loincloth and uh, uh, anyway just stupid silly little things I don't even know if I rem are they called okay we just got stupid silly little things uh, we are gonna call these guys loincloth and we are gonna load ourselves a hero bullet is probably the best hero for using warriors but we're gonna use Miss Brick because Brick's a little bit more fun when it comes to watching her get shot basically. Uh, we're gonna do it in a dumb dumb fashion. We have instant training. Don't need to worry about anything at all. Just walking through these early stages trying to keep the single shot defenses at bay with those critter friends and hoping that we can get through this with no losses even though we've used zero shocks or skill or flares or effort and warriors are one of if not the highest level of skill required i know zookas get a good people think you need to do a lots of good things with zookas and that's true to an extent but warriors are just so 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 good and you can add all sorts of different levels of skills on top of them if you know what to look for, and ground flares is one of those things that's overlooked way, way, way too much. And so we are just going to drop out all of those critters and watch that core explode. And that warrior damage just makes for so much goodness when you can get the core to explode. Uh, I flared a little bit early simply because Brick wasn't going to get there, but ground flares on warships, ground flares on... And by the way, ground ship flip flares on warships, I have discovered a bug, or I think I've discovered a bug, where uh, if a building is flared when a heavy chopper explodes, then the troops go to that building, and if a... Um, ground the ground is flared the heavies don't go to that building so i have told supercell it's a weird weird bug one of those edge cases that seem to be happening more and more frequently uh speaking of edge cases i forgot to drop miss brick i guess we can drop her about now and still have not lost a troop using warriors i have not used warriors in a long long time but apparently the skills stick with you so we will keep going. Uh, I would love to hear which, how often you're using warriors. And one of the biggest mistakes you can actually make is you see players who play with warriors. They end up building their bases to defend against warriors. And then they get attacked like one time a year by people with warriors. And it's, so it's just not ideal to build your base to defend against the troops that you like to use. And I really wish that we could see that landing craft just to see exactly what our opponent's using because I find it super super interesting just to see what the heck our opponents are using and that brick power brick battle orders damage boost plus the tribe boost just making these bases and I know they're low level but uh, just a complete and utter joke I wonder if we can go this whole time without losing a troop now that I've said that I've totally and utterly jinxed myself but uh we shall give it a go this person is mis missing a prime opportunity to hide that boom mine behind the back corner of that headquarters also noting that you generally speaking only need one smoke to drop your warriors yes i think i'm about to lose one i'm almost certain we just lost one that doom cannon just went pew and by the way, for those of you who missed the video earlier in the week, I told you I jinxed myself, 
Um, it's my sound effect game is top notch. Supercell, I have no doubt we'll be reaching out shortly simply because of my pew pew pews are just next level. I don't know how I haven't gotten into voice acting yet. Just waiting for that big break. Come on, Supercell. When you make the Boom Beach movie, please let me be the voice of Brick. That would be so, so good. I feel like we have the same sort of uh, vocal range. Stage six. How many? And also, how many of you guys actually do imitation game at this point? Uh, I know mid-level players do because there's a decent amount of resources there, but I wish Supercell would give me access to... Look how perfect that straight line is. Just getting your troops underneath that smoke in the fastest possible order as we hit a boom mine that I did not see, and then throwing our pentultimate smoke first because that way... Our warriors show first, and then Brick shows after the fact, which means that Brick can once in a while stay alive as long as I've remembered to drop her. Let's just throw medkits instead of shocks, and just watching... Oh man, I feel like we're... I feel like my troop, my warriors are hitting faster than normal. Is there some sort of speed boost happening, or am I just dreaming here? Something? Something? I want to... I guess a replay wouldn't show us that, but I'll, have, I'll tr see if I can't just watch a little bit closer on stage seven because it feels like that is happening. I'm doing better than I feel like I should. This base is super duper simple. And this is where you get into some fun things with warriors. Dropping brick first at the flare means that she ends up getting out front, which means that she can clear some mines for our troops and then we end up having our warriors run along in behind her. I love small little details like this where you can just do a couple different style of hits. We're going to go something like that. One smoke, two smokes, maybe a med kit back there. And then just hoping that all of our dudes get onto that right there. Brick battle orders. And now this is where you end up having lots and lots and lots of fun. Just absolutely crushing through this base without using a final flare and then trying to get onto that engine room, also known as a headquarters, without needing to clear it. So if you are trying to stop warriors, never, ever, ever put your shield generator next to your headquarters. It's a terrible idea. Will shield generators ever come to warships? What do you think? Will it be attached to one engine room? To all of them? I don't know. Anyways, that is that. We've got all sorts of goodness. I am going to cut this video short just because I have been super duper far behind this week. Uh, it is crazy. Like, I, my daughter just got invited to join her sixth basketball team. Yes, she is 11 and she is playing on six basketball teams at the moment. Uh, she made a city select team. She got asked to play up with the 12 year old select team. Uh, uh, she's playing on a night league team that I'm coaching. She's playing on a tournament team. Like it is insane. And that is one of my kids. I've also got another one who is heavy duty into baseball and soccer. And he just got asked to play up as a goalkeeper. That kid, by the way, for you long time viewers, long time subscribers, my kid finally moved inside after four and a half years of living in the backyard in a tent. He has now moved inside. He just could not resist having our cats sleep on his bed and listening to his music to go to bed in his headphones, which we're not allowed to go outside. So uh, he is now inside. Huge developments on my side. And then kid number three, uh, between all of his biking events and his outdoor club and his robotics club, and not to mention m me and life and work and all of the rest of the things, it has been a gong show. So if I have not replied to your comment, uh, please do prompt me. And if I am late on a video, I thank you for your patience. Please do consider throwing code ZMOT in that shop, if only just to keep me from going bankrupt playing all of the games and having to fund all of the sports uh i am zedmont we got do i have an attack here can i do something oh we can finish off hardcore awesome okay so uh we are gonna try to solo hardcore with you guys on board assuming 
We're going to change the note on that to something like, uh, where is that? Just so that no one else attacks it. That's not a great note. And here's the next problem. Notice that button right there. That does not work for me because I got to spend some of my diamonds to get some powder. Just absolute gong show. If you think I don't have time to make YouTube videos, I don't have really, really don't have time to deal with my sculptor. And I did not get the boom pass this month. So uh, we are going to have to spend all sorts of diamonds to get this going. You guys using code ZMOD is greatly, greatly appreciated for moments like this because I know it looks like Supercell gives me a bajillion diamonds when I do a dev build video, but that is not the real world. This is the reality of my station. I am converting these shards just to make powder. Then I'm using all of those beautiful, beautiful time savers, which by the way came from the Cyber Trader and Cyber Monday is coming very, very soon. So do keep your eye out for that Cyber Trader's return. And then once I get the numbers low, I use diamonds. So not ideal, but we now have enough powder so we can click that beautiful button, which you guys did not like at first. I think you guys have gotten used to it though. My Laser Rangers have that health boost. So we are gonna go all Laser Rangers, I think. Uh, just trying to get a couple of them loaded. Don't have enough troop loadouts, unfortunately. I would love a single button that said, like, fill boats with laser rangers. That would be magical. But, you, if ands and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a merry saying. Well, I think if you haven't heard that, then let me know, because uh, I had a bunch of teachers that used to say that. So what do we got here? 292 means that these things have more health than I can probably barrage. So I probably should use Everspark, which is going to make things go not so smoothly. And we're going to have to rush a bit, but let's just get in, get that going. We are going to throw a, an artillery there. We're going to drop Everspark about there. We're going to throw a smoke and then click that button and flare the far one, one, two, getting those smokes out as soon as we can because time is going to be a major, major issue in this attack. And then, as soon as that smoke clears, we are going to do our darndest to keep Everspark alive, which is never a great time. We're going to click that second button, and then flaring over into there, throwing some critters there, and then just dropping all of this stuff, getting that shock out about there, and now Everspark is dead. So definitely did not get the value I was hoping for, but I think we should still be able to clear all of those rocket launchers fairly quickly, getting some critters out and then running the heck away as fast as we possibly can. And we have already lost a handful of laser rangers. No big, big deal. Uh, definitely those critters are going to be our canary in the mine or whatever the heck that expression is just so that we know approximately where we need to start throwing shocks which is about there now barraging back there using up the majority of our not even close to the majority of our gde uh, just trying to keep those rocket launchers and machine guns from wrecking our troops and then throwing a couple artillery back there there is a lot of stuff happening on these attacks, and that is why you need to pay so much attention. It is ridiculous. You need to shock those hot pots up as well. That is an absolute, absolute requirement. Otherwise, you end up getting towards the core, and those hot pots absolutely destroy your troops. So, if you're ever looking to solo hardcore you need to get a little bit lucky for starters and then you need to know all of the steps and the fact that we lost Everspark early on there that basically sealed our fate I think we are not going to have enough distraction to get all the way through this and we just don't have enough GBE to get through that back back rocket launcher unfortunately so we're just going to send our troops back here throwing a med kit on the process and then trying to help out the next attacker by getting rid of something back here would be really nice to get rid of that rocket uh, launcher but probably not going to happen as all of our laser rangers are now dead good opening uh, but just did not get it down so 
definitely can be finished on the next hit. And so we are going to throw that fire emoji in there. That fire emoji does not mean scorchers, by the way. It just means burn it to the ground. And next attacker can come in here, use their artillery to get rid of that rocket launcher. Maybe get rid of that rocket launcher and just burn it from the left hand side of core. Like just absolute either Zookas or bombardiers. I know it looks like that's a ton, ton, ton with 42 million shield left, but that'll go fairly quickly. And at the very worst, it's two attacks. So that is going to be it for me. A little bit of an impromptu operation attack towards the end there. And uh, I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in, liking, sharing, subscribing using code ZBlot, but more importantly, as always, comments make the world go round. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. Peace.